Yo ho ho! What's going on everybody? Nick here and today I'm going to show you some bolt trash finds I got. I'm addicted to picking up some bolt trash. You know, uh, I deliver newspapers third shift driving around so I get to see some of the good stuff that some people hadn't got yet. Every year I seem to find some really good stuff so let's take a look at what we got, shall we? Take a look. I'll show you. I'll show you. First off, I got this table right here. Bam! You know, focus. Oh, look at that bad boy. So I found two tables this year. This is one of them. Nice little workbench. Got some drawers in it. The drawers work. But uh, I like it. Of course, I threw some of my stuff on it already. But yeah, hey, for free, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing at all. So I got this one. I also got a blue one that was a lot thinner metal. And it was just the legs were collapsed and you, it wasn't worth a junk. So a buddy of mine took that for some scrap metal. So that's one item we found this year. Next we found this Coleman, car, uh, this Coleman right here. It's a generator. It's got the Briggs and Stratton Vanguard 9 horsepower. Pro Gen 5000. Now it has no compression at all. So uh, hopefully we'll try to figure that out. Get that working. The engine having no compression tells me the generator part still works. So regardless we can fix that engine then it's probably a good generator still. So hopefully we can fix the no compression issue. Next we got this 2016 MTD Briggs and Stratton. Only three years old. Now it doesn't fire. I've already tried it. It's got gas in it. It's not starting. We're going to throw a uh, new spark plug in it, clean the carbs. It's got one of them plastic carbs. So we'll get that working. I need me a good little push mower around here. But yeah, it's in pretty good shape. Plastic looks brand new. You know, pretty good shape. Paint looks new. Engine looks new. So we're going to be working on that. Then we got the old lawnmower trailer. And uh, the tires, of course, are bad. I already tried to pump them up. They don't hold air. So we'll go get us some two tires when we go pick up a uh, spark plug for the old push mower in there. We'll get two tires for this bad boy. And we also got the fire pit. Now, so it looks like they used it maybe one little time. That's not even burnt in the bottom there. It's a little dirty. I can pressure wash it. Clean it up. Pressure wash that. Clean it up. I need the little yard cart to pick up all this wood from the tree that fell on my building. And then I'm going to build me some barn doors for the room. So, uh, yeah. That's our bolt trash finds. Not a bad haul for some boat trashing. It's not over yet either, so uh, hopefully we'll find some more stuff. But uh, first thing I'm gonna do is work on this uh, 2016 MTD lawnmower here. Yeah, think we can fix it? I think we can fix it. It's got a plastic carburetor, so uh, why don't we go ahead and rip it apart, pull that carb off? All right. Let's get busy. All right, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to pop off the air filter cover. We're going to pull out the old air filter. All right, now you got four bolts in here to pop this off. Let me grab my socket. Two of them, I'm going to use an eight millimeter. Oh, there it is. There's two of them at an eight millimeter. Get off it. These next two, I'm gonna use a seven millimeter. All right. Now this cover should just pop right off. Same with the carburetor. You just pull it straight off. Now I'm going to put a clamp on this 
gas line. It's got a lot of gas in it. Looks like this gas tank might be removable. Let's see if this gas tank's removable. gas tank off with the carburetor and we're going to slide the carburetor off. You see how I had to turn the carburetor and pull. Now I'm going to take this out and empty this gas into my gas bucket so I don't spill no gas. That's just how I like to do it. So I'm going to take this out and empty all this gas into my gas can. I'll be right back. Now then. We got that done. We got it off. All we did was unhook the uh, throttle linkage right here and unhook the gas line. Now we gotta remove these two bolts on the bottom of this plastic bowl. Now keep in mind you can order this carburetor about not very much money. Let me grab a flathead. It's still got some gas in her too. Quite a bit of gas. Let me grab a flathead. Alright, so you just want to pop this bowl apart. I just work my way back and forth. Like so. Old flatheader. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to take this gas outside. Yeah, it's got some junk in there. I can see all kinds of little particles in here. So I'm going to take this outside and empty it out. Alright. You see it's got a little O-ring around this bowl here. That's what stops it from leaking. Little plastic carburetors. There's that. Oh, I hope y'all could see. I had it zoomed out. In case, in case you didn't see what just happened since I didn't have the old camera zoomed out. I removed these two 7 millimeter bolts. Popped the bowl off. It's got a plastic o-ring. Emptied the gas out. Now we got our float. We got our needles here. So let's go ahead and pop this float out. It just pops straight off. Mike can pull it out to the side. Let's just pop it off. Just pop it off all nice without breaking it. There we go. Our needle fell out. Let's look at the tip. Tip looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, you see how I pop that out? Let me push it back in for you. <clears throat> Just stick my needle nose, my flathead, popped it right out there. All right. Now, once you get these, this little piece here pulled out, you're gonna pull this piece right here. It's like a little L-shaped. You're gonna pop that one right off. Might have to get right. See that? Went right up underneath it. Popped it right off. Boom. And I can already tell that these little holes are clogged. So we're going to clean all this up. Clean out these little holes. Clean out these little holes in this main jet right here. Get it all cleaned up. Put it all back together. Throw a spark plug in it. And hopefully our uh, 2016 MTD push mower will be working. So uh, I'm going to clean all this up. And we'll be right back. Oh, all right. So we are back, and I've got it cleaned out good enough that it should work. So we're going to put this thing back together here, and it just goes a little something like this. Make sure you still have these two O rings there. Now, this is a pain to snap on, you got to twist it. 
Most people just try to push it on, but if you twist it, it just goes right down. So you see how I twisted it all the way down, we're done. It's seated in there. Now when you go to put this back in, there's a little white plastic piece in here. You need to make sure that there's still a hole right there for this, to, this little jet to drop down in. So <clears throat> if it doesn't drop down in, you won't have it all the way down. You also need to make sure that this little spout coming out is on the same side right here. So let's pop her in there. We got that done. Next we're going to drop our little needle in here. We'll needle in a haystack. Get our float back on. As we like to get our float on. We be floating. Oops. It's the worst part because I'm scared I'm going to break something. It's plastic. And I got to order a new carburetor. Alright, got that back on. Let's get that bar about in the middle. Oh, I did that wrong. Let's take it back off. Alright, so you gotta slide the needle in the float, then drop it in, and then pop the bar on. My bad. My bad. Alright. So now we got the float on in working order. <sighs> now, we're going to put the bowl back on. We don't want it to leak, so you got to do it right. Alright. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright. You don't have to over tighten that. That o ring is what's going to stop it from leaking. So, <sighs> I guess let's go empty that tank. Make sure it's emptied and we'll put this back on there. See if we can start it with the old uh, spark plug that's on there. Alright. Whoa. Well, I thought the tank was empty. Guess it had a little spurt left in there after all. Well, let's hook up the gas line. Bring our old clamp back down. All right. Well, let's go throw it back on the uh Throw it back on there. See what happens. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's start with the linkage. Alright, we got the old linkage back on there. Now we're going to drop the gas tank in place. Oh, we messed that up by a little bit. There we go. There's the tanker. We got the tanker on. Got the carburetor all the way back in there. Let's throw the recoil back on. Cover. We'll start these by hand. So we don't strip them out. Put them back on. Whoa, that's tight. Oh, all right. You spring off one of my Honda engines. All right, now let's put our box back on here. Make sure you hook up this breather hose and get her back where she goes. 
put our eight millimeter out here. Got our other eight millimeter top right. Oh, get back on it. Now let's throw our sevens on here. Knock it off. Got one more. All right. Alright, so we got that on. I could clean it. Yeah. It's good enough for now. I want to make sure it works. Let's throw some gas in here. We're going to take it outside and pull the cord. See what happens. What do you think is going to happen? Alright. Plenty of gas. Plenty of gas. Alright. Let's go outside and see what happens. I was in focus. This is without changing the spark plug. hot out there. It's hot boys and girls. It's hot. Well, we got the free lawnmower running for free. It didn't cost us nothing. That's the best kind. It did spitter and sputter a little bit. Maybe there's still a clogged up jet in that plastic carburetor. And plastic carburetors are junk, man. They're junk. Could be more trash in it. Who knows? I don't care. If anything, I'll order another $20 carb off the internet. Slap it back on there. They're just $20, so... Regardless, someone bought it three years ago, used it, probably never messed with the carburetor, gummed up after three years, so if I replace it, maybe I'll get three years out of it, too, for 20 bucks. I won't, I'll take that any day. I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. But, uh, if you like it, click that subscribe. I got another video coming out real soon. Some are gonna like it, some are gonna hate it. It is what it is. But, uh, peace. It's hot. It's hot out here.